welcome back to my channel and first I want to say happy new year to you guys and if you see the title of this video yes I did cut my hair but before I get into the details of why I cut my hair let me just do a 360 so you can see how my whole head looks end up doing an undercut which means I cut off the sides of my hair which I cut off this side and if you look at here I cut off this side as well and I also cut the back of my hair and I just left the little at the top uh, the reason I cut it is because that I was just kind of tired of doing it um, I did protect the styles probably for maybe four or five months I had it in crochet braids to try not to cut it you know because it when I first cut my hair, when I first went natural, my whole goal was to grow my hair. Like I said, I'm gonna cut my hair and I'm gonna try to grow my hair to my butt. Of course, that didn't happen, but it did grow out to a good length. But at the length it was at, I was just tired of doing it. I was tired of having to detangle. It took me forever to detangle my hair. Wash days was forever. Basically, I just became lazy of doing it and tired. And, I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while, but of course, you know, um, of my length, I was like, no, I can't cut it, I can't cut it, I gotta let it keep growing, but I just wanted to cut it. So at the end of last year, a couple weeks before the new year, I went ahead and cut it off. And ever since then, it's just been easier to do. Now my hair is still natural, like I didn't put a relaxer or anything on there, so this part is still my natural growth, which is, you know, still pretty long, so I left that right there just to do little styles on it, at least for right now, until I get tired of that, I might cut that off too, but for so far, I'm liking how it is now. With my haircut, I actually kind of just parted it and cut the hair down with scissors, and I had my husband to shave it down. It was actually a lot shorter than this. It's been growing out. So I probably have to get it recut soon. And like I said, with this undercut, it is easier to do my hair. Wash days as it take as long as it used to. Even when I detangle and actually set my hair in the style, it's shorter because I'm only working basically with one section instead of like my whole head. So that cut down my time so fast. And since my hair kind of sits at the top, I can do a um, twist down and have it like this for a few days without it having to mess up like how I was when my hair was longer. So basically it's easy for me to keep this style compared to the length that I had before. As for products, I'm still a product junkie so I love trying out new products for my hair but I will show the products that I've been using so far that I've been loving since I had my hair in this undercut. The first is this Design Essentials Natural Deep Moisture Milk Soufflé, which looks like this. I use this after I wash my hair. Throughout the week, I use it like I damp my hair, and I use this for to keep my hair moisturized. Um, I like it so far. It's not greasy, and it actually keeps my hair really soft. And I use this to also with um, right now I've been using peppermint oil, so I use. Both of this together to keep moisture in my hair and to detangle my hair and I love it so far so this has been a hit. Since I've been having this um, haircut, most of the styles I've been doing is um, two strand twist or twist out. So the two gels I've been using has been these two. one is the Miss Jessie Coily Custard which looks like this and then the second one is the Cream of Nature and Argan Oil which is the Flexible Styling Snot which looks like this and I hate the name of this product. I love the product but I hate the name because I just can't stand the name Snot. Just ugh. But I've been loving these two so far. So after I moisturize my hair I usually set it the night before in a two strand twist so I've been using this for that. Um, out of both of them, this one has the stronger hold than this one, but this one, if you use too much, tends to flake. Well, at least on my hair, it tends to flake, so I don't use it that much. If I do use it, it's just if I'm going to do my hair in a twist down and try to keep it there the whole week. With the Miss Jessie Curl It Custard, I like this one a lot. This one I can use every day because it doesn't flake or anything, and it keeps a pretty good hold. Not as strong as this one, but I do like this for everyday use, but... 
I love both of these. This is the two I've been going for so far outside of uh, my regular gel and creams I use the two strand twist. So, but these two I've been loving so far. And the last thing I've been using is actually not a product, but it's a tool. I picked up this brush from Target. I use to detangle my hair and I love this. I actually looked this up. This is the Involved Detangling Brush. I think this was the name of it. But um, they sell this at Target um, in stores and online. I found it at Target for about, I think $1.99. It was really cheap. But this has been a lifesaver for me. Um, I heard mixed reviews of this brush. I was kind of nervous to pick it up. But for the price, you know, I was like, well, let me just try it. But this it's working wonders for my hair. It detangles. It, no, I'm tender headed, so this has not caused any problem, no pain. It gets the tangles right out. Um, and just for reference, um, I would say my hair is in the four type, more coily than curly. So this has really been good with detangling my hair. Like I said, like I said before, I used just a moisturizer on my damp hair, and I use this to detangle. And it kind of separates a little bit, so when I'm combing through my hair, it doesn't really snag it because it kind of separates, so it kind of gently kind of goes through it. But I love this so far, so this has been my top tool I've been using to detangle and just throughout the week. So guys, that's it for this video. I do plan to do like little updates or maybe some styles how I take care of my hair in this um, short haircut. Um, I plan to do like some designs on the side, maybe the back, just kind of add a little touch to it. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm not planning on growing my hair because I've been loving it like this so far. So I'm planning on keeping it for a while. Um, also guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up and like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe, it's free. No hurt, you know, from hitting that subscribe button. So just show some love to your girl. And I'll talk to you guys next time.